The first building for research and outreach on our CFAES Worcester campus was Thorn Hall, which has been the home to the Department of Entomology since 1924. Thorn Hall was first opened as a multidisciplinary building and was also home to the departments of agronomy, botany, plant pathology, and zoology. In 1928, two wings were added to include public information, printing, and mailing, as well as the beginning of our long and productive relationship with colleagues from USDA's Agriculture Research Service. Over the years, we outgrew Thorn Hall, and as a result, new buildings were built on campus to modernize our facilities and enable utilization of new technologies and new laboratories. We completed this amazing new CFAES Worcester Campus Science Building to house four state-of-the-art entomology research labs, as well as two undergraduate chemistry teaching classrooms to engage education for ATI students and engage them with the research being conducted. Within this building, ATI will prepare students for meaningful careers. With small classes, unique hands-on curriculum and enrichment opportunities outside the classroom, ATI students will be well prepared for additional education, jumping into the workforce, preparing to start their own businesses, or getting back to the family farm. Throughout this building, we will utilize insects to further the fundamental understanding of molecular biology, physiology, genetics, ecology, and evolution. We will develop programs which will help protect crops, natural resources, structures, and animal and human health. The new first floor cafe will create a gathering place centrally on our campus, encouraging interactions and conversations across our disciplines and programs. And the Department of Entomology's Bug Zoo will also find a home here in the first floor in a space that will showcase the collection for visitors, including school tours and community outreach. From cutting edge research and state of the art teaching labs to the new Bug Zoo, this building is connecting our faculty, students, and community. I would now like to welcome Dr. Jamie Strange, Chair of the CFAES Department of Entomology to come and share a little bit about the department and how they'll use the new building. Good morning. The Department of Entomology at The Ohio State University is one of the oldest departments at this university, founded as the Department of Zoology and Entomology in 1874. Since then, the department has transformed into a leading provider of entomological extension, research, and teaching. We remain one of only 17 univers uh, only one of 16 universities in the United States to offer a Bachelor's of Science in Entomology. Our faculty of 17 mentor undergraduates, graduate students, postdoctoral researchers, and visiting scholars. Our seven Worcester-based faculty and associated staff and students uh, are, that will now be housed in the Worcester Science Building perform critical research and extension and outreach to a variety of commodity producers and stakeholders in Ohio. Dr. Andy Michael and Kelly Tillman work to understand the pests and to inform pest control and important agronomic crops like corn and soybeans, understanding the threats of emerging pests and the management of resistance to pesticides in our insect foes. Dr. Luis Cañas works to integrate pest management in more sustainable ways in challenging environments like greenhouses and mushroom farms, while Dr. Casey Hoy works to increase the sustainable sustainability in crop systems, working with people, plants, and insects to transform agricultural ecosystems to more sustainable places. Dr. Larry Phelan the, studies the chemical ecology of plant insect interactions so that they can better under, so that we can better understand how insects behave, how they choose their plant hosts, and ultimately 
how we can reduce the damage to our crops before it happens. Dr. Pete Piermarini works to understand how disease vectoring mosquitoes produce their blood meals, seeking, <clears throat> seeking to find ways to use genetic disruption, pharmacology, or plant products to interrupt the disease cycle. Dr. Reed Johnson is investigating ways to make honeybees healthier and more productive, studying the intersection of the bee's diet and toxicology of chemicals in the environment. Beyond our research here in, in the new Worcester Science Building, we will have a new home for our bug zoo, visited by hundreds of Ohio K-12 students every year. Our outreach efforts include a bug's world that brings hundreds of elementary students to the Worcester campus every year um, to learn and recognize, <clears throat> to learn about the importance of entomology to their lives. Denise Ellsworth runs a nationally recognized pollinator outreach and extension program that engages hundreds of Ohio's citizens working together to improve the plight of pollinators throughout our state. This building will help us grow. With state-of-the-art labs and facilities, our people will spend more time on the critical research questions and less time on repairing aging infrastructure. Our cutting-edge research in genomics, metabolomics, toxicology, and other areas has the cutting-edge space now to grow into, and we're grateful to everyone who worked to get us here. Dean Kress, Provost McFerrin, Presidents Drake and Johnson, our associate deans, the legislature, and board of trustees, our department staff, and of course, the planners, builders, engineers, architects, and laborers who continued to work through a difficult COVID year to make sure we could use our new home and continue our work. We will strive to make sure that the work we do in this building honors the effort you have all made for us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Strange. At this time, I'd like to invite Wayne County Commissioner Ron Amstutz to come to the podium. Commissioner Amstutz is the former state representative for the first district of the Ohio House of Representatives, serving from both 1983 to 2000, and again from 2009 to 2016. He also served as the state senator for the 22nd district of the Ohio Senate and the mayor of Orville, Ohio. In the House, he was chairman of the House Finance and Appropriations Committee. He currently serves as Wayne County Commissioner and on our CFAES Vice President's Advisory Council. Welcome, Commissioner. Thank you, Dean. It's uh, very exciting to be here today in a uh, uh, launch of a facility that's been a long time in coming. Uh, I have a couple things I'd like to share that maybe will add some to this uh, occasion. The first thing is most people maybe aren't aware of how long a pipeline uh, exists in the, the capital process for facilities like this. I think the average we used was five years, but this one was a lot more than that because um, limited funds uh, meant that you had to save up money over a period of, of cycles before we had enough to go forward with this uh, facility. So it's very exciting to see it uh, come to this fruition now as we have added today another gem in the crown of the uh, OSU world, which is a, a great asset for our state and for our community. And we thank you uh, for your part in that and your leadership in that. It's very special. The other thing I wanted to <clears throat> mention is something that the Dean already uh, made a, uh, a reference to, and that is what this building means in further cementing the relationship of the Ag Tech Institute and the Ohio Agriculture Research and Development Center into a unified, cooperative, uh, and stronger and more effective uh, organization because of that uh, shared relationship. The, the fact that they've been in close ge geographic um, location is, uh, is one thing, but the working relationship that's happening in this building very much symbolizes that is so important in growing the leadership of the next generation and the generation that follows them into the, the world that um, 
Ohio State is so good at accelerating. So that's kudos to the planning for this building to be delivered in that fashion. And I can say just to, as parenthetically, <clears throat> my grand, two grandsons are already in the queue for the bug zoo as soon as it uh, <laughs> becomes available. And I'm sure there are many others that will be excited to participate in that um, part of it. The, the final thing that I wanted to mention in this a very special arrangement is that um, one of the things I've learned in this world that, that uh, OSU science operates in is the power of bringing seemingly different scientific disciplines together and connecting uh, in ways that produce mm. discoveries that we wouldn't otherwise have and innovations that we wouldn't otherwise have. And I, I really am pleased to see that there's a place for collaboration to happen here. Uh, that will be uh, one of the things that we can look forward to with excitement going forward. And I have to add, um, there's something very personal about this building because I uh, got a start as a student in, at OARDC in the entomology department back in, believe it or not, the 60s, where we were planting uh, vegetables to test uh, various insecticides and other things. And uh, so that, uh, the fact that Thorn Hall is being replaced by this fine facility is a, is a wonderful thing and there's something special and personal about that. So thank you for inviting me to have a, a few comments. I'm looking forward to cutting the ribbon. Thank you. Well, thank you, Commissioner Amstutz. And uh, on behalf of all of us at the college and at OSU, I want to thank you uh, for your vital role in helping to secure funding for this wonderful building and for your ongoing partnership with us. We're deeply appreciative. Next, I would like to invite Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose to speak. Secretary Frank LaRose took office as Ohio's 51st Secretary of State on January 14, 2019. Prior to being elected to statewide office, he served two terms in the State Senate representing the 27th Senate District in Northeast Ohio. Welcome today, Secretary LaRose. Well, thank you so much, Dean, and to the community leaders and university leaders that helped to make this possible today. Thank you so much for the chance to be a part of it. During my time in the State Senate, one of the great joys of representing this community uh, was having OARDC and ATI in the district. Obviously, uh, we, we, we now call it the College of Food Science and Environmental uh, Co College of Food. Agriculture. agriculture and environmental science is still a, a mouthful for me to, to get used to but same wonderful facilities same wonderful students and the great work uh, that goes on here so a lot to celebrate today uh, of course we're celebrating the fact that uh, because of the work that we did in the state legislature we've been able to make a wise investment of taxpayer dollars in in this facility uh, and that the university and the community has invested in this facility we're celebrating the skill and craftsmanship of the men and women uh, that designed and, mm -hmm. and built this facility Facility. But as great as the building is, it's what's going to happen in this building uh, that really is going to be uh, transformational, not only for this community uh, and for this university, uh, but for the entire world. And it's really interesting to me what a uh, sort of a historical connection this is, because obviously the Ohio State University is known for many great things, uh, but as a land-grant university, the agricultural mission is so core to what it means for Ohio State, uh, what Ohio State means uh, for, for this state and really uh, all around the world. And that reputation of being a real leading institution in agriculture and in, in making sure that, that we have the food, fiber, and energy that we need to go forward uh, as a society. And, and so much of that work is being done right here. Of course, as the Ohio Secretary of State, I work on elections issues, but we also work on entrepreneurial issues because we're that place where new businesses start at the Ohio Secretary of State's office. And so we celebrate entrepreneurship and that really bold and courageous decision of starting your own business. And of course, agricultural uh, leaders, uh, farmers are, are, are at their very heart entrepreneurs. And so we celebrate that entrepreneurial spirit as well and helping uh, Ohio's farmers and farmers all around the world be more profitable 
and more successful in the work they do. And that work will happen right here in Worcester in Wayne County, Ohio. And we're so proud of that. So uh, what a celebration. I look forward to cutting the ribbon. And I want to bring my daughters to the bug zoo too. <laughs> that, I've got three little girls and we love catching bugs out in the yard in the summertime. My wife doesn't enjoy that so much, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but we're going to have fun uh, coming uh, bringing the girls up here. So thank you so much, Dean. Well, thank you, Secretary LaRose. We appreciate you being here and your support. You know, one of the things that we all recognize within the college is that our work cannot be done without partnerships. Uh, the partnerships within the college that have been talked about our interdisciplinary work, uh, our partnerships across the university uh, with us as the cornerstone college of this comprehensive university, our partnerships with farmers, with communities, with industry, and with our stakeholders, our partnerships with federal, state, and local governments. Together and with those partnerships, we're able to advance knowledge, advance industry, advance science, but most importantly, advance people. We would now like to share a short video to give everyone joining us virtually an opportunity to view a glimpse of the inside of this new cutting edge facility. for the moment we've been waiting for. Will those of you who are here with me please stand and raise your ribbon and your scissors and cut your ribbons. Officially opening uh, and marking our new CFAS Worcester Science Building. <laughs> Well, while this day was not marked with our traditional gathering and celebration of all of our people who will be part of the work of this building, there's still plenty for us to celebrate as we move forward in our research, teaching, and extension missions. And this building will be a key facility for our work on the CFAES Worcester campus. Thank you for your time today, your support, your partnership. Together, we sustain life. Thank you. <laughs>